in a game of Fortnite, there are many things that the average player struggles at, such as playing defensively. Are you one of them? Playing against an aggressive player and learning how to play defensively is very hard for most players and is why you are in the right place. Zero ping is an advantage that only a couple of players can use against you, but fighting the average zero ping player can be seriously hard, especially when you aren't experienced. What up Fortnite fam, I'm Matt and today I'm going to be showing you the best tips you can use to counter aggressive players and be the best defensive fighter possible. Speaking of which, our question of the day is, do you think you are more of an aggressive player or a defensive player? Let us know. Now, let's get right into it. Getting constantly pushed by players who have been playing much longer than you and take all of your walls to first try is a pain, and we've all been there. However, by playing patiently, using your materials correctly by overprotecting yourself, and expanding your box, you'll be able to win all of your fights. Always box up when you are in a fight, as it will prevent third parties from jumping in after you finish fighting the first player. The best way to win your fights is by playing defensively and making your opponent push you. Obviously, playing defensively can be boring when it comes to having fun in arena with friends. But if you're really struggling when it comes to just casually playing arena, or you want to get noticed in the Fortnite competitive scene, then you do need to start playing defensively. Some quick tips to making sure your playstyle gives you the upper hand in Fortnite is to never let an opponent take your wall, and always use counter piece control to make sure your opponent can't trap you in your own box. Also, fight your opponent inside of your box and use cones to trap them in and take different angles. Now that we've got you started off, let's dive deeper into each tip. First up, Peace Control is a very important mechanic every player should use in Fortnite, and using it correctly is very important to counter W gears. Every single professional player knows that Peace Control is very important, and they use techniques like pre-boxing and cone phasing while playing aggressively and defensively. For example, when someone is pushing your wall, you should always try to cone them with a peanut butter edit or a simple double edit. These moves allow you to have more time to readjust and will throw your opponent off guard. By boxing your opponent up, it allows you to be the aggressor and easily win the fight. A new technique that has surfaced recently that not many people know about is ghost building or phase building. Ghost building is an extremely overpowered technique that allows you to box your opponents up without even having to edit. Ghost building uses the same fundamentals as cone phasing, which most of you already know how to do. Just like cone phasing, you need to find the perfect spot that allows you to slide a build through your wall. The best position is being pinned up to the wall that your opponent is trying to take, with a ramp edited under you. This makes the game think that you are placing a build in front of the wall due to the angle you're placing the build through. Practice and find this angle in creative, and you can box up your opponent without having to risk taking damage yourself. One of the most important things you need to practice to win your defensive fights is practicing your angles and how well you pair your aim with it. When you're in an intense box fight, you must know how to dominate your opponent without taking any damage. Many pro players dominate every game mode they play just because of how good they are at box fighting. If you really want to improve your usage of different angles, playing box fights in creative is a great way to do so. Make sure to always utilize every resource you have and always protect yourself when taking peaks. You can also practice by using Raider 464's crosshair placement and angles map, which tremendously helps. Are you struggling to break free from the open or contenders divisions in Fortnite? Well, everyone has the potential to improve, and the best way to push that potential to the max is with a Fortnite coach. Our Fortnite coaches are world class and are available 24 7 to help you improve. Head on over to ProGuides.com with the link in the description to improve at Fortnite today. Playing defensively requires players to be versatile, and doing this correctly is a tough task if you don't know the correct building strategies. Building a lot is definitely the best way of getting away safely, but many players may not know exactly what to do. They may panic build, which will end up costing them a lot of materials. Our first tip for getting away and moving efficiently is by always placing a ramp behind your back. This will seriously mess up your opponent, and when they're trying to jump into your box, it really does give you a huge advantage. For example, if an opponent tries to break the ramp and you're in a full box in front of them, it gives you a really easy opportunity to deal damage to them. 
Try to use it as a way of turning the fight over into your favor. Placing a ramp behind your back while tunneling away is definitely the easiest way of surviving in a sticky situation, so make sure you utilize it. Another great tactic that we talked about previously is coning your opponent off and boxing them up. Now this is a great tactic, but when done normally it can be very predictable. So to counter that, we'll be showing you a better way of coning your opponent off without them being able to shoot you. First, jump, and simply make a double edit on your floor and the cone above you. This gives you enough time to place a cone over your opponent's head and be safe while doing so. So next time you look to box up an opponent quickly, remember that trick. When trying to become a better defensive player, you need to be very patient and know when to make your move. Having patience is extremely important, and you need to wait for your opponent to make a bad move. For example, if you tag your opponent for 80 and instantly think you can jump into their box, that is a bad mistake. Your opponent can easily come back from that, and while your guard is down, they can end up doing more damage than what you did. Practicing your overall game sense and knowing when to push is extremely important, and many players may not know how. Simply put, practicing game sense is all about playing the game and learning from your mistakes. Playing arena and constantly taking fights will definitely make you better. Okay, let's recap. You need to play defensively if you are struggling when it comes to fighting the average player. Always take the correct peaks that will allow you to win fights, and make sure you always place a cone in your box to avoid getting peace controlled. Always think ahead and claim the builds around you, and make sure your opponent won't have the upper advantage when it comes to fighting. Try to make sure you counter all of your opponent's peace control attempts, and also get back at them and box them up. Always practice your aim and learn to peek at angles that will allow you to deal more damage than you take. A great way of improving your shotgun aim and peaks fast is by playing box fights. You need to be patient to win in skilled lobbies. You can't sporadically push your opponents and give them the chance to dominate you, and you need to realize that playing slowly is much better than being flashy. There are many small tactics that can change the outcome of your fight. Practice building a lot of boxes and using all of them to take different shots at your opponent, and never leave any opportunities open for your opponent. To end this video off, just remember to practice consistently and efficiently, and then you can work your way to becoming the best fighter in Fortnite. No matter how long these tips and techniques take to master and implement into your playstyle, it will definitely be worth it at the end. Remember to utilize peace control and give yourself a lot of space to fight on and disengage quickly. And also remember to be patient while fighting. Utilize pro guides to its fullest and grind to your best capability and you'll be on top of the leaderboards in no time. Speaking of which, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like the video and you can always subscribe with the bell on for more. Until next time though, good luck out there and I'll catch you in the next one.